Hello there, I'm the Nightmare Duke and welcome to another Fallout 76 video where today we are going to be taking a look at a build that most people rock bloodied, but we're going to be going full health today with a different armor set while still maintaining our sneak thanks to some specific mods helping out so hopefully you enjoy, but let's just get straight into things. So we are rocking a commando build here and we are using a fixer, but as you can see we are not bloodied which means no unyielding armor as well as we aren't actually using Secret Service armor or any other end game orientated armor set. But so far, so good in terms of the performance here. So what are we using exactly? Well, taking a quick look at the weapon, we have gone with an anti-armor fixer. So don't need to worry about anything here. Anti-armor will work for us regardless of our health and we don't have to worry to manage anything else like caps or addictions for some of the other effects. I was also considering uh, executioners, but went with anti-armor in the end. Also VAT's hit chance and some more damage resistance while reloading. So that's always nice to have and it's a good roll overall. Uh, now to the armor set, we are actually rocking a full set of leather armor, uh, heavy leather armor to be specific, but I went with leather just because got the cosmetic skin from the scoreboard and it has the mods we need so that was enough for me and the mod in particular that's the most important one here for us is the shadowed mod uh, which we are rocking on all of the pieces which is going to be helping us uh, keep our sneak levels uh, very nicely also this is a full over eater set as well so we are really you know quite tanky especially since we are going for stealth uh, so we don't really need to worry about staying alive too much uh, also one of the pieces has the third star harder to detect while sneaking so that's also helping us out and I just threw on muffled because why not so that's the armor and the gun out the way the build is pretty standard in terms of commando so we won't spend much time here but of course we just got rid of things like nerd rage and serendipity that require low health and we just swapped in stuff like grim reaper sprint and ricochet and gone full on the actual commando perks all three at rank three so getting as much damage as we can there and legendary follow through helping out as well of course, bloodied builds, the most common and popular in terms of the damage output that they deal, but also unyielding boost in your stats. So generally you're getting better experience from your kills and your completed quests and events, etc. Because your intelligence is boosted from the unyielding. But on the other side, you have full health. And as you can see, still dealing with things, no problem at all. If you wanted to, you don't need sneak here. So you could change those perks out for something else and go more quality of life build orientated. Uh, we got overeaters, so we are pretty tanky, even with just a simple leather set. So even if you are detected, you don't have to worry about getting one shot like some bloodied builds do. Uh, but for someone that doesn't want to use bloodied and doesn't have the time to grind out the endgame armor sets like Secret Service and all of that, then a set like leather, which has shadowed, can be super handy to use and have. You'll maintain your sneak very well, won't have to worry about your health as much, and you can opt for a wider range of legendary perks, like your anti-armor executioners, vampires if you really want to be ultra uh, unkillable quad for quality of life so really is quite open in that regard and you can use those on bloodied as well but again just a bit more to keep track of for bloodied builds in general and generally going bloodied you're going blo full bloodied weapon on top of that so yeah full health not something i use often i use power armor quite a bit and i'm usually half health there and then on my sneak builds it's generally full bloodied uh, but full health, really viable and a good way to go, especially for players who just want to really chill out. Much like a minigun shredder build, you don't have to worry about much at all, and that's why I love it so much. But yeah, if you're using full health commando, let me know what weapon you're using, what armor set you're using in the comments below, because I'd love to know that. But hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, then hey, consider liking and subscribing and sticking around for more Fallout content. As always, massive thank you to the channel members for their support. But for now, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.